Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a vase with uh, glitter, uh, glitter and resin. So what I'm going to do is put a thin coat of resin over the vase, and then I am going to cover it in glitter. Um, so I'll go ahead and bring you down in just a minute, and we'll get started. But I wanted to mention a couple things. First, uh, if you are a subscriber, you will see something different in my background here. I got this new um, shelving unit to uh, put my paintings on to dry. Um, I didn't really have a space for that, so this is going to be my new drying rack. Um, so I've got some things on here right now. My lovely husband helped me put it together today, so this is what we got for our drying rack. I'm excited about that. And over here, still the same mess with my paints. I tried to reorganize a little bit and uh, move a few things around. Um, but I did get that, so I'm excited about the new shelving unit. And the weather is getting nicer, so hopefully my paintings will start drying faster so that I can get more going. I've only got so much space to uh, make and dry. And if I'm running out of drying space, I can't make too many more. Um, because those are drying and I don't, you know, like I said, I don't have the space yet. So anyways, the second thing is, um, don't forget I'm doing a giveaway. If you're new here, um, I am doing a giveaway. I am trying to reach 100 subscribers. And the way I can do that is by you guys sharing my channel with people, your friends and family, and having them subscribe. And uh, once I reach 100 subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. I'm not sure if I'll be giving away a canvas piece, a, um, a vase. I also do some wine glasses and uh, coaster resins, um, that sort of thing. So I'm not sure what I'll be giving away, but I will be doing something once I reach 100 subscribers. So I need your guys' help to do that and having your friends and family uh, subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome and much appreciated. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and bring you down and um, we will get started on the vase. Welcome back guys. And so what we're going to do is um, the glitter that I'm using is when I do um, other glitter pieces I try to keep a piece of paper underneath, um, which, uh, yeah, I try to keep a piece of paper underneath so that when the glitter falls, um, I can put it back in the container and use um, what drops. But sometimes what I'll do is if I'm doing multiple items, I will just let it all drop on one piece of paper and it'll be like a, a dump bucket sort of thing with just multitude of different glitters and all that stuff and I'll save it and I'll use it for something like this. So that's what I'm doing today. And what I'm going to do, I already have my resin mixed. When you're doing a glitter base and you're doing the first coat, you need a very, very thin layer of resin. I have probably a little bit more than I need here. Um, I have about 10 mLs of uh, resin here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is let me turn my spinner on. So while this is spinning, I'm just going to put a thin coat of this resin on here. And also, by the way, um, I already prepped this and cleaned it without 91% alcohol. And um, got it ready to, um, to go ahead and put epoxy on. So I'm going to go ahead and put just a literally a really thin coat of epoxy just enough for the glitter to stick and you just want to move it around and it, it's okay if um, it's not super smooth because the glitter is going to be you know rough on it anyways so we're just going to go ahead and keep moving it around until we get it evenly coated
apologize if you can hear the squealing. My machine is um, been used quite a lot, so I think it might be due for a new motor pretty soon. All right, so we've got that covered. So let me go ahead and grab my paper that I'm going to put under there. So I'm just putting this again under here. I fold it in half uh, lengthwise. And I'm just going to stick it right underneath like that. And we'll go ahead and start dumping our glitter on. Just making sure I get everything out. So I'm not sure if you can see my glitter here. I've got, um, it's uh, silver, some white, some red, some pink, uh, some gold. So I just, like I said, I got a mix of everything in there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start, let me just make sure I got this neck real good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and just start dumping this on here. And I may dump all of it out, and if it doesn't fully cover the base, that's okay, because I can take what's in here and put it back in my cup and pour it back on. Because we want to make sure everything is fully covered, so I'm just going to dump until everything gets nice and covered. everything covered I'm gonna go through one more time just over the whole thing really quick and make sure that we got a good coverage on there it's gonna dump all over like this and if you want to do uh, less glitter you can do that too you just as much or as little as you like um, I just prefer it to be fully covered unless Maybe you have the vase uh, painted underneath or something and you want to see some of that. Um, you know, it's up to you however you want to do it. Alright, so that's good. I'm going to dump this. And I've still actually got some left over I could do something else with at some point. So we'll save that for another day. So now that we've got this fully coated, I'm going to put on some clean gloves. And what we're going to do here is um, we want to lightly press the glitter onto the vase so that when it dries, it's not really sharp and poking out. Um, that will save us time. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more on the bottom. I feel like it's still a little bit tacky. I can feel the tackiness there. And I don't want it to be super tacky when I'm touching it. I mean you will feel a little bit but uh, I don't want to feel super tacky because then your glove will stick to the uh, stick to it and you don't want it to stick. You just want to lightly tap like this and push your glitter in. And you can kind of see some of the glitter, like the pink glitter I have in here and a little bit of red that you see is a uh, chunky glitter. And those are the ones that really um, will stick out. If it's fine glitter, um, 
you shouldn't have too much of an issue with that but the chunky glitter uh, you definitely will have an issue with that sticking on and if you do have some at the end when it's dry it's okay um, what you'll do is uh, spray it with a clear coat of um, crystal clear I usually uh, I ran out of the one that I normally use you can use this this is the triple thick high gloss um, you can get this but not in the gloss you want like either a satin or a um, or a matte because from my understanding resin will kind of repel off of things that are glossy uh, with paints and things that are glossy so um, when it comes to paint you know spraying this I use uh, a matte which I'm temporarily out of at the moment so then after we spray after so after this dries um, I will spray it a couple times like probably two coats just to make sure that the glitter stuck on there so that when I do my next coat of resin that it's not peeling off or smudging the glitter uh, into different areas um, and then so after I spray it twice with the clear coat like matte spray then I will and then once that dries then I will do my last coat of epoxy and if there's any lumps after you know if I feel any lumps or bumps um, you can sand it with a, a 280 grit sandpaper uh, just lightly over those areas and then we'll do and then do another coat of epoxy so that was it quick and easy for the vase here and uh, I'm gonna bring you guys down so that you can see a close-up uh, hey guys welcome back here is the vase not sure if you can see um, the trueness of what the vase looks like I think the camera is showing a little bit off uh, a little bit different but um, also if it looks a little brighter in on your screen that's because dummy me forgot to turn on my light when I was filming the first part of this sorry guys about that but it is what it is um, so yeah so here is the vase and um, I love the way it turned out I will definitely be doing this again um, with uh, you know dump bucket you know glitter saving whatever I have left over from other projects um, let me know what you guys think I will show you the finished result once it is done and dried and uh, resined and ready to go and also don't forget that I'm doing the giveaway I need you guys help to get me some subscribers uh, ask your friends and family to subscribe to my Facebook if you think they would enjoy this and once I reach the hundred subscribers I will be doing the giveaway alrighty guys and don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Aaron's art page and on Instagram at onecraftygal43 if you're not already following me thanks guys and I will see you in the next one bye